Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Eric Surf 6 and welcome to another episode of Eric Meal Time. Today we're on location in Hawaii and we're going to do a Hawaiian foods tour. Inside the food land right behind me, I'm on the hunt for some poke. Poke. You know what that is? It's, uh, it's raw tuna fish cut and it's like all spicy and delicious. Going to get some of that and then we're going to go to some of these food trucks that's right across from the beach. Let's get some. Oh, look at these donuts. Don't they look amazing? It's cream cheese right there. But wait, this is lunch, not breakfast. We'll do donuts later. Maybe we could just do one, just the cream cheese. It's a buffalo chicken hoagie. Looks more like bacon slices on there, doesn't it? That looks awesome. Yeah, it's bacon on top of chicken. $7. You know, I might just have to get this. What did I say at the beginning of this video? What were we coming in here for? Pokey, right, the fish. Can I get some of the, uh, the ahi limu? This one right here. Thank you. So the question is, where are we going to eat? There's the spot, oh yeah. I'm looking at my watch here, it's 11 a.m. and they're still serving breakfast, so. Gotta go breakfast, right? Mmm. It's either an omelet or a breakfast taco. I can't decide. What? Nutella. Let's try Nutella. I don't know what it is, so. It must be Hawaiian, right? Australian? I don't know. It's on the menu. Yeah, so on the waffle, we're gonna go with uh, Nutella. Is it Nutella? Yes, Nutella and nu strawberries. Nutella and strawberries, yeah. You gotta yes. sweeten up that Nutella. Yes. Nutella. It's, it's Hawaiian, right? Uh, the what? The, the Nutella. Is that Hawaiian? No, I don't think that's Hawaiian. Oh. Well, we're getting it. <laughs> and I have, a, I have this. It's good though. Yeah, that's why. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so you get a free drink. I never had it before, so. Yes, okay, yes. a free drink with this? Yes, so you just have yourself inside that white cup okay. over there. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Yes. My hands are full, so shut off the <laughs> camera. So here we are on the north shore of Oahu, Hawaii. And this is my first time to try poke. Well, actually, it's been a long time since I've had it because I used to live here way, way back before YouTube. So this is just the standard ahi poke. And this is, it's $5 worth. So it's a, uh, it's a half a pound, basically. Yeah, there it is. Oh, doesn't that look delicious? Yeah, and this is, ahi is the Hawaiian word for tuna, right? Or maguro in Japanese. There we go. How's that looking? Is it focused? Yeah, so I'm gonna eat this while it's cold. This comes out of the uh, refrigerated section. Yes. Yeah. And she asked me whether I wanted fork or chopsticks. Interesting, huh? If you're in Japan, you're only gonna get chopsticks. If you're in California, you're probably gonna get a fork. But here, they, they ask you. All right, here we go, go on in for a bite. It's looking good. It's smelling really good, really fresh. Oh, wow. Wow, this is off the hooks. Oh, it's so soft. It's in like a sesame oil. Oh, wow, this is brilliant. Got garlic, eggs, some seaweed. Did I say eggs? I didn't mean eggs. I meant garlic, onions. Onions is what I meant, not eggs. The eggs are coming. I was thinking eggs because I haven't had an omelet in. Well, it's been a while because I live in Japan, as you guys know, or if you don't know, I'm on holidays right now. So I'll be going back to Japan soon. But before I go to Japan, I should say that I'll be going to California. So if you guys are friends of the dude's got it, who's my older son, I'm gonna be visiting him and making some food videos. I cannot stop eating this. This is perfection. I don't know if there's a better way to eat fish. 
Fabulous. Hawaiian style poke. If you come to Hawaii, try the poke. Oh. Better save room for the omelet in the waffle. Mm -hmm. And I've also got a Danish and some Hawaiian Maui style potato chips. This is Hawaiian Sun Green Tea. This is Hawaii's, I would say, number one soft drink company. Yeah, so they've got all kinds of flavors. And you can see this one, it says with ginseng and other natural flavor, but I'm betting that this is gonna be sweet, which is not what I want, but you know. When in Hawaii, Eric, that's me. Surf six. To be continued. Is she coming? Okay. Okay. And the entrees have arrived. Look at this. Get in there close. This is a Nutella and strawberry waffle. And over here is the ABC omelet. A stands for avocado, B stands for bacon, and C stands for cheese. Mm -hmm. Hash brown potatoes, toast. Back to my green tea here. Let's get a sip of it. Please, please, don't be so sweet. A little sweet's okay, but not too sweet. I'm disappointed. It doesn't taste like green tea at all. At all. It tastes like a fruit drink. But but okay. It's thirst quenching enough. Alright, so uh, I'm going to get some silverware and I'm going to hit this with some uh, hot sauce. I'll be right back. Local avocados from Hawaii. These are huge. You know, the avocados in Hawaii are like, they're like softballs. They're like, they're huge. You know? Yeah, it's nice that the eggs aren't runny as they are in Japan. I like that. Fully cooked. Lots of bacon inside there. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is delightful. This is Frank's. Frank's hot sauce on here. It's a very nice hot sauce. Not too hot, but just enough. Good flavor. A lot of bacon inside this thing. A lot of bacon and cheese. This thing is packed. Mm. That's a pound of food right there. Mm-hmm. Run. Let's move in for the hash brown potatoes. I like them like this. Well done. Yeah. Oh. A little bit of ketchup. Oh. That's ono, bra. Ono means nom 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 in Hawaiian. Mm. Wow. It's one of the best omelets I've ever had. And granted that I haven't had a proper omelet in a long time, so this. So cheesy. The bacon is I like what they've done with the bacon here. Look, you got to see inside of this thing. Get the full effect here. Look at that. It's almost like bacon pieces, bacon bits. So cheesy. And a little bit of potatoes in here. Is that a potato? Nope, it's all bacon. It's just bacon fat. Oh boy. This is a rocking omelet. Oh man. Yeah. Mozzarella cheese, I think. Mm-hmm. Mozzarella and cheddar cheese. Okay, so today we are letting the camera, the cameraman eat, so I'm not gonna do too much damage here. Oh my. So the name of this place is The Spot on the North Shore, right across the street from Shark's Cove, where we're going to do some snorkeling. 
In fact, I might cut some snorkeling into this video. It's rolling. Here we are at the snorkeling place. It's called Shark's Cove. Yeah, and it's a really nice spot. Look at all these fish you can see. But before we get in the water, let's show you where we're going. That's the purpose, the establishing shot. Isn't it gorgeous? Oh yeah, beautiful place. So you know what I'm thinking? That this is missing something. It it needs more color. Whipped cream. Now we're ready to rock. Here we go. Oh yeah. Let's get right in. How do you cut this? Four sections, right? You see, you gotta do this. And then you gotta do this. Yeah. Something like yeah, something like that. Okay, so Nutella, I didn't know it was Hawaiian. If you guys know, where does Nutella originate from? Is it somewhere in Europe? Is it, also, I think it's Australia. Let me know in the comments. I'm sorry, I'm American, I don't know. It's definitely not America. I'm gonna steal a strawberry from this section over here. Okay, there we go, there we go. Waffles, last time I had a waffle was, I don't know, long, long ago. Actually, the Nutella is pretty good. I thought I mean, it's just a it's chocolate, basically. Yeah, it's actually pretty good. It it goes pretty well, surprisingly. Mm-hmm. That's a big bite. That is a good waffle. And it almost feels more like a dessert. Oh. Oh, super soft, and the waffle's actually sweetened as well too, so it's not dry, it's very moist. The whipped cream is fabulous. Oh. All right, let's have something else to drink here. This is uh, coconut water. All right, we're in Hawaii, gotta have some coconuts. Coconut water. Oh, that's good. Thirst quenching. No sugar. Just the way I like it, yeah. Unsweetened. Oh, that is amazing. I wonder if it's pure. I don't know, who cares? It's delicious. 10 times better than the green tea. Yeah, it, this is not green tea. This is coconut water. Oh, yum. Next up are the Maui style potato chips. Now, these are what I believe to be the best chips on the planet. Yes, if you know a better potato chip, put it down as a comment down below. These things are amazing. Yep. I think they're sold all over the world. I know you can get them in California. Yeah, that's what they look like. They're super oily, super crunchy, crispy, and just delicious. The Maui onion flavoring is incredible. I'm talking like, I, I just tasted it already, but I've had these a lot. Oh, wow. Bursting with onion flavor. But it's a sweet onion, the Maui onion. That's what's nice about it. And the chips are just, they're thick, they're crunchy. Can you hear the crunch? 
Come on. As usual, I can't stop eating them. Oh. These are a masterpiece in junk food. Mm hmm. No. All right. <clears throat> Go for a little bit more of the uh, coconut water. It tastes just like drinking it out of a coconut. Have you tried drinking it out of a coconut? It's the same. Yeah, they've really nailed the flavor on it. Mm -hmm. Okay, now it's time for dessert. This is the cream cheese danish from Foodland. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know how Hawaiian this is, but generally the Hawaiian donuts, it's called the malasada, is a deep fried donut. And this, this is kind of similar to that in that <clears throat> It's very sweet. It's very dense. It's a moist donut. But this is a pastry. This is a uh, more like a croissant. All right, here goes. Woo! There's my sugar hit for the day. Oh. Boy, is that ever sweet. Oh. It's a masterpiece. Oh, so good. Oh boy. I gotta stop. <clears throat> I'm getting ready to go snorkeling here next, so I don't want to pop out in the water. Mm-hmm. Come on. A little bit more of the coconut water. Mm. A little bit more of the green tea. It's not green. It tastes more like flowers. It tastes more like flowers than green tea. Okay, so now I'm going to rate this meal. Um, you know, I don't know how really Hawaiian this meal was. I apologize for not doing like everything authentic Hawaiian food, but I will have a video coming up soon. It's going to be a Hawaiian foods like authentic buffet and it, it should be nice so this was really just sort of an out and about snack I'm kind of calling it a food tour because you know the shopping center the uh, <clears throat> the supermarket was involved and then a food truck I thought it was good and I really enjoyed the pokey yeah, the pokey the omelet was super yeah the pancake oh, I mean what can I say I'm just going to go ahead and rate this meal. I'm going to give it a perfect six for atmosphere, for overall just good taste. I haven't been out of Japan for a while. It's always like I get this reverse culture shock for food. It's when I eat something Western. And yeah, that's how I feel. And <laughs> I would definitely um, advise you guys to come out to the North Shore. It's the countryside <clears throat> of Honolulu. And there's beautiful beaches. It's, there's not that many people out here. It's, they call it the country. It's gorgeous. And there's lots of good foods to be had out here. Garlic shrimp is one of the other ones, but I have another video where I just did that. So I passed on the garlic local shrimp. So that's gonna be it. I give away three, get some snack packs because it's a perfect six rating. It's a nom nom nom. That means get some snack packs. Are you familiar? If not, I'll put a link to what that is up here. It's a snack pack comprised of stuff in Japan that I put together, dry snacks sweet snacks, chocolates, cookies, crackers, different things like that. There's quite a few items in it and I put a few other things, some secret items in there too as well. Maybe you know if you've uh, been watching the channel for a while. So the only thing you need to do to enter this competition is put a comment down below and I will look forward to reading your comments. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will announce the winners in the very next episode of Eric Mealtime. So thanks for watching and we'll see you again. Hey, thanks for making it all the way to my end screen. So now what? Well, click around, watch a few more videos. How about checking out my Patreon account? Links are all right there on the screen. Cheers and beers, team, get some. <laughs>